American Airlines Center in Dallas, Texas for the Stars and the Canucks. And here are tonight's key is starting goaltenders. Kari Lettinen is 3-0 with a 1.33 goals against average in his last three starts when coming off rest. So good omen there in his career. He's five wins against seven losses against the Canucks. Eddie Lack's emergence made the Luongo trade that much easier. He's 9-10-4 with a terrific 9-26 save percentage. But being the loosey-goosey good guy backup is different than the pressure of being the guy, and he's now the guy in the pipes for Vancouver. The other guy in Dallas is Tim Thomas. We spotlighted him off the top. Thomas sits on the Dallas bench, and he'll watch his new partner go to work tonight. Tyler Sagan, Jamie Benn, and Rich Peverly is back in the lineup. He'll start on the right side with those two as they keep auditioning wingers. Christopher Tanev plowed in the corner. Jamie Benn in there with a raucous hit to start the game. Here's Peverly firing. Tip, Benn, backhander, and Sagan plowed into Lack in front. The puck is still under there somewhere. No whistle yet, and finally it comes after a big collision in front. Well, this is what the captain did the other night when the Stars were trying to get going in Columbus. Set a physical tone for them in the second period, and others followed. He starts it early in this one. Finishes his check on Tanev. Stars are able to get it to the net. Again, getting their defense involved. That's Goligoski right in front of the net and under the pile of humanity. Tyler Sagan, good work by Peverly to fill in underneath. Ben was the only Canadian gold medalist on that Olympic team that has yet to play a Stanley Cup playoff game. Only guy on the club. He and his mates are 20 games away. Cody Eakin wins the faceoff. Brendan Dillon shot it, and that rides Chris Higgins' stick and up over Eddie Lack. Yeah, Lindy Ruff looking for his team to stop tiptoeing into games. I, I think they're heating his want here to start this one. Really four first periods in two of the last four games. He wants him to set a pace, embrace this challenge to keep winning, and get into the postseason. Cody Eastwood with Eric Cole and Alex Chase on Cole shot it, and another one finds the screen. Keep winning draws, though. Yep. Eric Cole would be a guy to keep an eye on here tonight. He dummies the Canucks. Leads everybody in the season series. Couple goals, couple of assists in the two games. 12 goals in the last 17 games against Vancouver. Some guys just have a club, and this is his. Great way to make, break out of an eight-game point-scoring funk. Alex Chason in the corner. Alex Edler pinning him there. It's Edler and Bieksa partnered together. Fans have had injuries throughout their lineup this season. Henrik Sedin got it along. Bieksa jumping up. Shot it. Letton and got that deflected puck off Jordy Ben. Here comes Cole. Swerving his way to center. Hitting Eakin and then trying to follow up. It's Eakin chasing it back into his own zone. Yannick Hansen in to pressure Brendan Dillon. He'll swing it around the boards. Henrik Sedin reaching for it, but down the ice it goes. It's icing against Dallas. Well, well documented that the Vancouver Canucks are struggling to put pucks in the net. John Tortorella showed his team about 60, 65 of the goals they've scored this season, almost half, in a video session this morning. So play-by-play -play man John Shorthouse was the star of that one. Just eight goals in their last eight games. They rank 28th in the league in offense. 1-9-1 and one in their last 11 overall, and Booth ripped it off the faceoff win. Booth's last goal was December 17th. Highlighting what we're talking about. Everybody on lengthy droughts, or not much lately, and it's Booth taking it over. Gonchar on the man. Fiddler back to the net, absorbing the hit. Connaughton in the lineup tonight. He played five straight before the game the other night in Columbus. Rome took his spot then. And Connaughton is back in here. It bounces towards Sestito. And Garbutt knocking it away and off the boards. Garbutt, Roussel, and Fiddler, who is now chasing Garrison back. Garrison's their leader on the back. He turns the point scored. He's got 30. Fiddler in to throw a hit. Goligoski back to Daly inside his own line. Val Nachushkin takes the puck at center ice. Burrows his way across as he kicked it from skate to stick, but he ran into Schrader. Nachushkin trying to rescue it again. Daly popped it ahead. Val's looking for it, and it's sent out of the zone by Darren Archibald. Goligoski to Nachushkin against Archibald. Val drops the shoulder, taken off of his skates, and Hamus plays it around. Goligoski hit by Zach Delpy. It's Horkoff, Whitney, and Nachushkin together here. 
finish out Dallas' lines tonight. And in comes Whitney. Firing. Save Lack. He swallows it. Well, one thing that the Canucks want to return to is, is their stout defensive play. They have no issues with that. And this is their forecheck. This is a 1-2-2. Two, two. They only have one guy in after the, the Stars' defense as they try to move it up. Full 1-2-2 two, two in the neutral zone. Challenge the Stars to get through there with their speed. Make sure they're in good posture defensively and try to counterpunch off of that. The ovation here is for Tim Thomas. They just showed on the video board. Cassian puts it in, and Burroughs goes after the puck. The strange case of Alex Burroughs, who does not have a goal this season. Jamie Ben countering. Sagan hits the Jets at the line. Sagan moving in. Back in. Shot. Score! Ben! You can 1-2-2 two, two all you want, but when you have that kind of talent and speed coming at you, this time they end up with everybody deep. A bad pinch down the boards results in chasing back to their own net. BX is the only defenseman back on this one, and Ben and Sagan go to work. What a sweet thread-the-needle pass that was by Ben. He stops at the net. BX had got spinning on his wheels, and the captain dunks one from about a foot and a half to open the scoring here tonight. For Jamie Benn, that is his 24th. He's now just one back of linemate Tyler Sagan for the team lead. Sagan will get the primary assist on the goal, and Dallas with a good start here. Eakin dropping it off to Cole inside the Dallas line. Swerving his way ahead past Henrik Sedin. Pulls up on Tanev. It's chopped away, and Chason to the rescue. Passing it off to Eakin, now Cole all the way over. Dylan's got some room, he fires it. He wanted that tip from Chason in the high slot, didn't get it. Jordy been going after the puck, firing wide of the net, and it climbs the glass and out of play. That didn't miss by much. A hot shot from distance from the bearded Ben. The goal scoring Ben, another peek at that one. Drive the net, boy, Bieksa just got, he got puck staring, and the rebound gets away from Eddie Lack made a marvelous stop on the original backhand bid. Ben followed it up. Boy, that, that's vintage Ben and Sagan with a little give and go, tons of speed through neutral ice, exposing an opposition that gets a little aggressive in their own zone. Give an assist, too, to Rich Peverly. Ben from Sagan and Peverly. Puck back toward Garrison, who moves down to get it. Sestito is their penalty minute leader. And then some. Here's Fiddler. Across the ice to Roussel, nice pass. Back to Fiddler at the line, moving in against Garrison. Takes it all the way around behind the net. Centers toward Garbutt, that's intercepted by Steve Mathias, who was also part of that deal for Luongo. And now Roussel moving it over again. Shooting it into the corner for Garrison. Dallas will take their change. Players are 29, 23, and 10. 68 points, fifth in the Central, eighth in the Western Conference. And Vancouver is two points behind them. Top eight are in. Barkov shooting. That's blocked. But ricochets out to Zach Dalpy. Dalpy with Schrader and Archibald to the Dallas line. Trevor Daly getting in there first. Archibald tried to throw him through the end wall. And Nachushkin comes out with it. A three on two for the Stars. Now quickly ahead to Whitney. Whitney fighting the puck but launching it over to the near side for Goligoski. He'll take it in and shoot it wide of the net. Daly from the right point. Slapping it deep to Nachushkin. Pivoting out of the corner, trying to stay strong on the puck. Gets a little bit of help from Daly to keep it in the zone. Orkoff turning on Bieksa, who rams him out. Schrader to the line, but right to Daly. Passes it over to Goligoski. In front, shot, Whitney missed the net. Penalty coming up against the Canucks. Delayed call. Goligoski from the hinge. Sends it around the boards to Whitney. Extra attacker on it. Sagan. He wants it. He's got it. He shoots it. And it's blocked by a diving Archibald. Adler makes the touch. And that'll give us the first power play of the game. This all started with some over-aggression by the Canucks in the Dallas zone. The Stars get through their forecheck. And the fourth line, if you will, gets a glorious scoring opportunity. Two Stars defensemen handle things in their own zone. Goligoski and, and Daly. And then off the rotation in the attacking zone beautiful pass guts of the ice 
Whitney sails it over top of the net and the foul right after that. So it's high sticking against Bieksa. Dallas has a power play goal in each of their last two games. Whitney passing it off the bat. Jason's in front of the net, but it's Sagan shooting. Save Lack and a good one. Sagan can't quite find it in his skates. Chason in to help. Tanev plays it back. And Hamus gets away with that clear. This is very good penalty killing they're up against here tonight, too. The Canucks have been excellent down a man. Offside here against Dallas against this top five ranked penalty kill. He gets saves. You just saw that. Shot blocking. Good decor. Nice mobility. This is the pass you never want to give up. Tanev just got clowned on this one down low. Never sealed the ice early. But the guy behind him in the mass sealed the short side. Sagan gets a ton of chances. I mean a lot of chances. Especially lately. And yet continues to come up dry. Goals in just three of the last 22 games for him now. Thank goodness he can do other things. Oh, huh? yeah. And a lot of other things. <laughs> Trevor Daly hounded back inside his own line. Matthias up there on the kill with Alex Burrows. Second unit out here for the Stars. 110 remaining on the power play. Daly fires it around the boards. Orkoff going after the puck. Engaging Edler. Chips it around to Cole. Settles the rolling pill and then hands it out to Gonchar. Moving it over to Daly. One-timer. Shot wide of the net. Right back out to Cole. On top to Gonchar. Daly has it cocked. Gives it to him in the circle. In front, Burrow steals it. Egan hooking at him, and he gets the puck down the ice. This is one place they want to play the newcomer, the Canucks, Matthias. Big guy, kill penalties. Out there with Burrows in that set. Ben dropping it to Sagan. Here he comes into the zone. Sagan chopping it up and sending it back to Whitney at the line. Firing, tip, loose in front, and off lack to the corner for Sagan. I think That's Tanev shot that on his own goalie. <laughs> That's never good. Never fire on the lifeboat. One of the rules. Hansen shorthanded, leaving it for Tanev. Shot it, Lenton got just enough. He's testing both goaltenders on this shift. <laughs> yes, he is. Breakaway pass for Sagan, who's in the load. He's shooting the bars. Oh, dear me, is he fun to watch. Critical execution early in the game. Tanev, little tester for lack. In tight, goes the other direction. This almost squeezed through the arm and body of Kari Lettinen. Twice they've tried that. Then the liberation pass through the middle. Tanev going coast to coast repeatedly on this shift is the one chasing Sagan to the net. Timeout taken, I'm sure, by the Canucks here, obviously as when they get aggressive up the ice they don't have anybody filling in underneath and i'm sure john tortorella is telling them guys let's get to our defensive base first here before we worry about scoring goals at the other end as he was mentioning this morning they got out chanced by the phoenix coyotes in a one nothing game something like 20 to 6. and they're getting outscored two to nothing by the stars brilliant goal by Sagan. Those two guys have popped through big time for the Stars here to start play tonight. That's now 12 goals and a point a game for about a month that they provided for the Stars. I mean, they're both close to 60 point players, Sagan and Ben. You look underneath them, the next nine Stars have point totals between 21 and 29 points. So there's a massive drop off. So all we got to do is take Ben and Sagan away, but it's hard to do. Sagan from Ben and Chase on that time. Garbutt got it in, but offside. And that sends us to break, but early fireworks from Ben and Sagan. Jamie Ben first, Tyler Sagan second, and Dallas leads the game 2-0 early against Vancouver. At one time in what feels like the distant past, now Tom Gallardi, the Stars owner, wanted to own the Vancouver Canucks. Well, his current club is owning them really since he bought the Dallas Stars. They've won four of five. They're 2-0 and oh this season. If they can win this one here tonight, there he is. Yeah. In town for all the festivities this week. 
If they can win this one here tonight, they'll sweep the Canucks for the first time since the late 80s. Before Mike Madonna was drafted. Yeah, yeah. How about that? <laughs> That's how long ago it was. Ball going in there with Bieksa. Connaughton on the full pinch along the boards, wrapping up Cassian. Edler chipped it to Matthias, who hands it forward. Bieksa got some help from Sestito to clear, but Call bringing it right back over. Only to turn it over, and Edler takes a couple of steps ahead, snaps it in front of the Dallas bench that goes off Sestito, and the Canucks will change. Rich Peverly. Looting Henrik Sedin with a pass to Ben. Gave it over to Sagan. Cutting in against Hannon. Sagan. Oh, Peverly in front. And his stick was held up by Amuse. They just keep getting in behind the Vancouver defense. Repeatedly. Especially this line. Jordy Ben on his horse to beat Booth to it back there. Now they tie up. Centering feed. They try and cram it in in front. Henrik was there. But out comes Ben with it. Got it towards Sagan, but it's offside at the line just barely, and these two are, I mean, revved up tonight. Well, if, if you don't have forwards coming back consistently and, and picking people up, if you stand up like Hamus did at the blue line there, and now Tanev has to back in and respect the speed and, and puck manipulation of Tyler Sagan, look at how easily they get in behind again. A little saucer pass to the front with Peverly breaking to the net, the other guy on the line. They are dancing in this one early. Workout beats Jordan Schrader, the 22nd overall pick in the 09 draft. Garrison sent it over. Yannick Weber having trouble with it. Whitney's pass is behind the Chushkin. Canucks clear. Archibald and Delphi going after the puck. Dylan trying to handle Archibald. Orkoff twisting it over to Jordy Ben. He'll flick of the wrist it out to center ice. Such a good ball oh, look out. Zipped up into the crowd. I was just going to say it's such a such a good exit out of the star zone. The concern for a fan that got clipped by that hot dump in down the far side. Stars have had everything going their way though here in the first half of this opening period exactly what Lindy Ruff wanted them to do get on their toes don't measure the game get out ahead of the opposition make them chase you enjoying this and, it, and when you have your your best players setting the tone others are going to follow and that's exactly what Ben and Sagan have done here tonight they're out there against Kessler and company Kessler Hansen and Burroughs Back of the net, Goligoski took it away, but it went off Hansen's skate. Kessler setting it back of the net. Goligoski and Burroughs jam away. Daly joining. Blast banging at that end. The puck went right over the top of the net, but out to Fiddler, who gives to Roussel. Left wing attack into the Vancouver zone. Cleared. Hansen. Let Burroughs chase it. Goligoski gets there ahead of him. Daly plowed by Kessler. Fiddler back to support. Goligoski sidestepping the pressure from Hansen, giving it to Fiddler. Roussel sets a little bit of a screen for him, and then Fiddler toppled at center ice as he ran into Kessler. But shot in on Kari Lettinen. Daly going to the bench, and off of it is Gonchar to keep Kessler, who's late in a shift at bay. Let's keep it in. Gonchar rattling it up the wall. Garvin tipped it out from center ice will fire it over. Shots are 6-4 Dallas, but it seems worse than that. Tanev, the pretty robust shift for Ryan Kessler. Trying to drive a little energy into their side. A couple of big hits on two defensemen. Move to Tanev, sent it over. Hammers is shot, sailing high and wide. Tanev squeezed off. Gonchar back of the net trying to deal with Booth. Eakins over there with Henrik Sedin. Daniel, by the way, is out. Cannot in the back of the net. Vanev sends it in. Chason trying to clear, and it does ricochet off him. He's trying to get a step on Tanev at the line. Chason pulling his way toward the net, and no penalty on Tanev. 
Boy, Tanev's had a rough opening period here. You can see the Canucks trying to get, get, stay aggressive in the Dallas end. The puck almost got completely past him and Chase on in behind for about the third or fourth time in the first 12 minutes of this game where the Stars have been in behind all of the Vancouver Canucks. Van all the way in, shot at Dave Lack. We also had Beverly cutting hard George the net again. And racing over to keep it in, passing it off to Beverly, down to Sagan, that's tip. Sagan nudged off the puck. Jordy Ben took it away, up ahead to Beverly at the line. Beverly's pass behind Sagan, he'll find it along the boards and fire, score! Tyler Sagan again! When it's going right, it's going right. Lindy Ruff is able to get his top line out here against one of the depth lines for Vancouver. Sestito looked like he was going to take a run at Sagan in the slot. Instead, the puck goes to him. There's a double screen in front of goaltender Eddie Lack. Watch the Canucks just line up. He never sees this. And for a guy who's 6'4", at times Lack can play really small in the net. Rolling puck knuckled its way short side past Lack. That line has the Stars up 3-0. Tyler Sagan, second of the game, 27th of the season. Connaughton handing it over to Gonchar. Pass ahead, too far. Horkoff getting there, couldn't twist it in front. And number 24, Jordy Ben. Rich Beverly and Jordy Ben with the assists. Here's Schrader dusting it off, sending it wide to the net. Archibald was occupied. Long pass ahead to Horkoff. He'll put it in deep. Nachushkin and Whitney waiting for it. Yannick Weber lost the puck. Nachushkin dragging it back of the net. Val's got two goals against Vancouver this year, too. Daly, deep. That's Garrison. And he'll pop it up the wall. Out to center ice, it's Sestito. Or Dalpy, pardon me, shot it in. Daly moving it quickly to Garbutt. Caught up in his skates, he'll send it back of the net. Fiddler trying to nudge it loose. He's under two Canucks. Hamuse tripped up on his way to the puck. And in the corner, it's Booth. Clearing it. And I believe it did hit the glass. 6.23 remaining in the Tyler Sagan, Jamie Benn and company show. That's the first period here in Dallas where it's 3-0 starts. Three love stars. And lately, they've been the team digging out of these 3 nothing holes. Tonight, they're on top. Give us an opportunity to remind you as you enjoy a cold one to look forward to Miller time later in tonight's game. Brought to you by Miller Lite. Mm. Tyler Sagan, there's a pair of goals off of his stick in the game already. He is running away with hottest athlete in DFW on the DallasNews.com poll. Got about 45% of the vote. DeMarco Murray is number two. Do you know who's number three? A Ranger? Another star. Jamie Beck. Trevor Daly. Really? Yes. Wow. Congrats to Dale. Yes. Boy, that is. ESPN, the magazine, has a feature on Tyler Sagan, <laughs> yeah. I believe, that comes out tomorrow as well. So mm -hmm. he's hot in print, online, and in this game tonight. Triple threat. Alex Goligoski, Dallas's leader in time on ice. Dallas's defensive scoring leader. Dallas's leader in block shots, and he fights through a check. He gets it back from Eakin, who was pulverized by Kessler. That's going to be a penalty against Kessler. And here's the call. Complaining vehemently on his way off, but it looked like it was late. Vancouver penalty, number 17, two-minute throw So there you go. Eakin with the puck, nudges it back. In comes Kessler and finishes him anyway. And, I mean, Goligoski had the puck at the time. It by roughing or interference on that one. He had that rugged shift his last time out when he was trading paint deep. Can't imagine what's running through his mind right now. Complicated and difficult days. 
and uncertainty going forward for the entire Vancouver franchise. Second power play of the game for Dallas. They're one for one. And Tyler Sagan has scored the last two Dallas goals. Here he comes. Already on the hat trick watch. Left it at the line, but a miscue there, and the Stars will chase it again. Already has two of those this season. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's the Stars main... went, what, three or four yeah. years without one, yeah. and then this guy showed up. Chason took it back of the net. Their Hamus had fallen. Jamie bent out to Sagan. Passing it over. Goligoski taking a look. Finding Jamie Ben. Crossing into the corner. Whitney pursuing. Gave it to Chason. Chucked it back out to Goligoski. Handing it to Jamie. Tip just wide by Alex Chason. I think they had the entire Canucks thinking Sagan was going to get that down on the left wing side. Sagan spotting up over there. Goligoski took a look at him, then feeds Whitney to Sagan. Had to reach for it. Sagan gave it off to Whitney. He's pursued in the corner and lost the puck. He had a bit of a problem with one of the referees as well. Tanev was able to use the boards as an ally. Kind of squeeze him off down in the corner and end that rotation. Haley jumped to the puck, put it across the ice for Eakin. He'll haul it over with 35 left on the man advantage. Pass to Gonchar. Gonchar's gone dry lately, too. And Daly unable to keep it in along the boards. This will not affect his hotness. Gonchar back in the net. Yannick Hansen in for a peek. 15 left on the roughing minor to Ryan Kessler. Here comes Daly to Cole at the line. Drops it in back to the net, Adler whips it around, and it's out of play. Start that one back to the left of Eddie Lack, who has been lit up here in the opening frame in his first start as the Canucks' number one netminder. You could say the affable Swede has lacked some goal support. Oh, man. It would be an awful pun, but you could say that. I mean, think about it. He's 1-7-1 one, one in his last nine starts, but he sports goals against average and save percentage that suggests that he should be 7-1-1 one one mm -hmm. in that span. Last five times he's given up one goal. Just one. He's lost all five games. Think about that. Burrows in. Kessler threw it in front. It's off Dylan Lettinen struggling to find it. He has it, and then Burrows came in, and the Stars will have none of this. Well, you knew something like this was coming from the Canucks, they're they're down three nothing. Their dander is up. They've got some guys that enjoy this aspect of the game. Burrows can infuriate all. Ian Dillon having a verbal joust down there. The tail end of that. They'll sort it out at ice level. It will come back with the Stars up three nothing late in the first. Secure your seats for the most anticipated Stars games this season with the. Flex 4 pack. Choose four remaining Stars games. Save up to 14%. Avoid all Ticketmaster fees. Get your Flex 4 pack today. 214 Go Stars. DallasStars.com slash Flex 4. And I think it's going to be a really fun last few weeks here. It's going to be very much fun for Ruff and Company here for the next couple of minutes. It's uh, the one offsetting minor that's a uh, minor for roughing to Dylan minor for roughing to Roussel and just the single slashing minor to number 14 Burroughs there was the team roping that was done by Dylan and Roussel and out of that they they found the extra minor to the Stars. so the Canucks get their first power play of the contest here late in the first period and they're not very good on this side of their special teams poor in fact 28 to 13.9 percent they've scored 24 power play goals in 64 games this season. Dallas penalty killing's been pretty stout lately, too. Edler feeds it over. BX is shot at letting the stop. Rebounds loose. Daly boxing out. It goes back to the net in the centering feed from Higgins. Went straight in the air to Garbutt. That was a big pileup and a collision. Fiddler's lost his stick, and then soccer kicks it out to Garbutt at center. It's tough with skates on to kick with your toe. Not a lot of blade there. Finally, he turned it sideways. Bieksa hauling it in. Henrik Sedin into the corner. And out to Edler at the line. Shooting it. Save Lettinen. Rebound. Loose backhand shot. And Lettinen got a piece. It tumbles wide to the net. Peverly gets there to clear. Kari's made some saves here, but none of it's been clean. Some early ones that, that went through him. 
Just mad scramble off a point shot there. BX are reaching for it. Tried to tap it back to Schrader. Here's Henrik Sedin, who has no goals and one assist in the last 12 games he's played. BX rips it. Save. Uh, might have been blocked on the way in. Ben going in with Higgins. Jordy shoves the pile. Puck comes loose back of the net. And sprayed back out to Bieksa with 48 left on the power play. Adler has some room. Shot it. Blocked. It hits Jordy Ben. Jamie and Jordy close together, and Jamie finds the lane. Eddie Lack will put it on a tee for Kevin Bieksa with half a minute remaining in the offsetting minor. Posted to Brendan Dillon. Jason Garrison's got a bomb, but he can do nothing with it there but give it to Hansen. Crept it over, backhands it in, letting it back of his net. He'll move it himself up the glass. It hits the screen off the glass. And despite Vancouver trying to sell a call, they weren't buying. Well, you were mentioning Henrik Sedin's issues. I mean, he's more so the puck disher than the puck stasher. And then Burroughs, who's a 25-30 to 30 goal man, has dealt with injury this season. He broke his foot, broke his jaw. That'll stunt anybody, but no goals in 32 for him. None in the last 21 for Henrik. They're without Daniel, their top goal scorer. Injuries have undermined some of what they've tried to do this season, and they need lots of offense to get back in this one here tonight. Burroughs has 77 shots and has failed to pick up at least one shot in only three games that he's played this season. So... Weird. Dillon's on. Power plays over, but Garrison tees it up. Shot it. Daly blocks it. Fiddler rescues and taps it ahead to Dillon at center ice. Oh, wow. Big collision, and Dillon is run hard from behind. Oh, was he ever by Cassian. This was grotesque. Brendan Dillon, who just got himself back onto the ice and under the penalty box, got nailed right in the number four from behind, right in front of the Canuck bench. Cassian's going to get... Well, he's going to be done. There's only a minute and a half remaining in the first. We'll see what the overall penalty is. Left-hand side, Dillon... Dumps it in and just gets lawn chaired by Cassie. It's easily, it's boarding. Easy. Probably a five minute major, you would, think. you would think. He's staring right at him, folds it over, and explodes into him. And Dylan gets rocked right into the top of the boards. The thank goodness for Bob Ganey in some ways. Dylan missed a game, got back for the last two, and is being helped by the Stars medical staff back to the Stars dressing room so they're down to five D-men for the interim and I mean he I know it's slow motion and everything but Cassian left his feet and nailed him from behind yeah five minute major that, that's one of the easiest ones ever to call yeah. Another peek at this one. Watch it in real time. Man, man, oh man. Turned around and tried to look innocent. At least it wasn't Dylan's head from that angle that hit the boards. It looked like it was a shoulder. So the Stars power play, which has already clicked in this one, will get an opportunity to score as many as they can for five minutes, barring any other penalties in this one. Of course, they get a chewed up sheet late in the period to try to do some more damage against the Canuck team. They lead 3-0. Really acquired Matthias in the circle. Jousting with Jason and a diving play by the center iceman to clear it. Good work out there to do just that. He went to the bench after so doing. Aaron Pass in the Dallas zone. Kessler spots Higgins. Couldn't work it toward the net. Here comes Sagan. Pass across the ice for goligoski has got a stop for it. Gave it to Ben. Ben doesn't like what he sees. He'll circle back. A minute remaining in the period. Goligoski. Sagan wants it. He's got it. He's across the line. Sagan shooting it wide of the net. 
Whitney kept it in. Right to Hamus, on to Burroughs, out of the zone. Just almost feels like the way they're going about their business, like they want to just kind of end this period and start things anew in the second on a, a better sheet of ice. Ben tried it himself. Goligoski keeps it in at the line, giving it to Sagan, trying to step past Burroughs. Couldn't do it. Edler in the corner. Engaged by Jamie Ben Burroughs has the puck, and he'll lift it over Sagan and down the ice. 15 seconds to play in the third period in the first period. Gonchar to Eakin, one final rush here for Dallas on the power play at the end of the frame. Eakin got it over. Cole reaching for it. He's engaged with Hansen. Gonchar kept it in. There's the horn. Terrific execution of their game plan here in the first. Tyler Sagan, Jamie Ben, and Rich Beverly led the way that entire line. The only concern is the damage to Brendan Dillon from that hit. Dallas Stars come out roaring here in the first period. They get one from Jamie Benn and then two in a row from Tyler Sagan. Take a three nothing lead to the break. We'll come back with more. The intermission report is upcoming next from Dallas. Dallas Stars Hockey on Fox Sports Southwest is brought to you by your Texas Ford dealers. Enjoy all the best savings on America's best-selling brand. Ford is the best in Texas. By Q Clothier and Rich Hippie, official wardrobe providers of the Dallas Stars. And by the all-new Mazda 3 with seamless connectivity. Datsuk and Zetterberg, the Sedins, Getzlaff and Perry, Kane and Taves and the Stars in our AT&T U-verse Rewind, Sagan and Ben. Well, they started the game on purpose. I think Lindy Ruff sent them out there to set a pace. And did they ever? The captain physically early and then some stick sorcery. They repeatedly breached the defenses of the Vancouver Canucks in the opening frame. Potted all three goals. Sagan on a power play. Sagan again later on on a mystifying little knuckle screenshot from the boards. Ben got it all started right in the crease. 13 goals in the last really month of games, if you will, between Ben and Sagan. And the forgotten guy on the line here tonight is Rich Beverly, who missed the last game. I even forgot that he struggles with that AFIP. And held out early in the season at a training camp and was back in here tonight. Could have played if they could have gotten him to Columbus the other night. Instead, he gets slotted on that line and they have been trotting. They start the second period with still three and a half minutes left of that five-minute major for boarding in game misconduct against Cassie. And Dylan is back and on the Dallas bench and appears ready for duty, which is very good news. Here's Ben to Whitney back in the net. Back to Jamie Ben for Whitney. Took a peek at Sagan, and then it's popped on out. Chason went to one knee to hold it in. Slid it off to Ben, but it Look came out. off his stick, and Higgins trying to go, but it hit him in the skate. Wasn't a very good pass by Kessler, who had him in behind everybody. Sagan, his pass tipped out, and Matthias can do nothing with it at center ice. Ben tripped up. In comes Burroughs. Burroughs deep shot at Steve Curry Letton. And Burroughs picks up his 78th shot of the season without result. The Canucks have kind of been scratching and clawing their way back to respectability as this game has moved along. And their penalty killing, which, as we mentioned, is top five in the NHL, is their hero right now. Burroughs with a little counterpunch there. They came close to sending Higgins in solo. And we're midway through this five-minute majors to Cassian. And the Stars have yet to really test Second unit out there for Dallas. Here, remember, this is the 29th ranked home power play in the league. Third issues there. Goal put it in. Lack tried to clear it himself. Daly gloved it down. Well, that's a tough play for a goaltender from his knees. Eakin missed the Chushkin and Daly. Then the Stars again having problems with the man advantage. A lot of teams fall into this trap. Yep. Five minutes of power play time. The urgency just isn't there. And 
Here comes Henrik Sedin. He's got Hansen breaking with him. They're on, well, they're onside, I guess. Henrik lost call. Henrik shot it, deflected by Eakin wide of the net. That was a little loose. Yeah. Here comes Eakin. Barreling into the zone. Hamu stick checked it away, and Kessler will try it. Goligoski has the angle, and he got there. Yeah, good work. That was a great defensive play. Whitney bringing it over all by himself. Hands it to Shason. In the corner, he'll scoop it around. Sagan let it go to Ben out of the left point. Giving it to Sagan. Passing it deep to Whitney. In front, that's deflected back of the net. He had Goligoski breaking down the back door. So does Sagan if he wants it. He gives it to Whitney. To Goligoski, a shot. He and they stay on the job. Well, this is terrific work by Alex Goligoski at both ends of the rink. His goal-scoring streak bumps to three. Comes back on Kessler. Doesn't allow him to get the lane to the net. Doesn't take a penalty. Erases him from the equation. And the Stars go 180 feet the other direction. Back door. Eddie Lack did not get a very good push on this. The netminder to get across. He was down guarding the short side and in no position. He was prostrate trying to deal with that one as Goligoski lifted it over top of him. So it's Goligoski from Whitney and Sagan, I believe. Sagan's 100th career assist. Milestone night for him. Point night for him. His fourth point of the game, Goligoski's fifth goal. Stars are back in on the power play. Sagan settling it. Chase on had to move it quickly. It goes back out to Sagan. Goligoski walking in. Whitney dispatched in front. Ben has the puck from Sagan who wants it back. Ben gives it to Sagan, but he has to come out for it. Now to Whitney. 35 left on the power play. Back to Sagan. Goligoski to Ben. He's got some room. He's in. He shoots. That's blocked by Edler. Out of play. Boy, when Tyler Sagan goes big, man, he goes big. <laughs> I mean, four-point games are, are rare. And yet, he has five of them now this season to pace the entire National Hockey League. More than Getzlaff, more than Taves. Three more than his line mate, Jamie Bent. This is a great pass by Ray Whitney, too. The Wizard living up to the moniker. Wizards on a little run two here lately. Five points in his last six games. Eakin shooting, blocked, and went right off Garrison, back of the net. Daly shoved it off the end boards. Eakin gave it to Peverly, who shot, blocked in front, and cleared, and that will do it. Dallas finishes two for four here as the major expires. It's being served by Jordan Schrader. Gonchar on the wing. Eakin hauling it over against Weber. Centered it. Peverly dropped it off to Cole. Had to pass it back to Daly. Shot it deep for Eakin. Has Hamuse on his back. Trying to shake the tail. Out to Gonchar. Passed it. Oh, tipped just wide by Cole in front. That pass was moving. It was the Shass, a shot pass. Tough on the forehand for Cole to get that on net. Daly hustled back, and here come the Stars. Peverly driving straight ahead across the line. Peverly shot it. Black with the stop. Dallas is changing. Matthias punches it out, and Dillon in a race with Booth. Dillon got there to drive it to the board. Boy, good to see Brendan Dillon back, oh, too. Man. Wow. Centering pass intended for Matthias. Gobbled up. Here comes Fiddler on the wing to Garbutt. Their speed is problematic, and Garbutt fired at the net. Save lap. From good defense, though, they're spawning these chances off the rush. Fiddler drove it around. Behind Bieksa, nudged it up the wall. Roussel has it, shot it, blocked in front, and sent all the way down the ice. Rolling on edge right in on Kari. Boy, Roussel paid for getting that puck in deep. Sestito had them all lined up and nailed them. Or, excuse me, Matthias. There have been some guys finishing checks in this game. Ice. Icing against Dallas. Well, it could have been a 5 nothing score. A real difficult play for Eddie Lack to handle when Gonchar, the one in the 1-3-1 up top, ends up drilling this one wide. That's a hot one. You're going to have to take a little steam off it as a shooter here to get it deflected back. 
There was room there on the short side, just couldn't find the mark. Stars scamper ahead. Ben was offside. He's got to back away from it. They were almost in there again. Weaving his way through center was Zach Delphi. Back of the net, it's Kari Lettinen. Lettinen has seen nine Vancouver shots. Hamus tries for the 10th, but he missed the net. Tanev hauls it into the corner to Schrader back around behind. Connaughton had him in the seat belt. Unwinded to Hamus. He kept it in at the line. His shot goes off. Peverly Lettinen reached up with his stick as it sailed over the net. Jamie Ben couldn't get away from Dalpy. Connaughton having similar trials with Schrader. But good work, though. He kept his feet churning to get position rather than reach out with his stick. Sagan tried one that's tipped out of play, and for some reason, Yannick Weber is trying to get after Tyler Sagan. Frustration, probably. Burrows in the back of the pack. Come around to get in the grill of Jamie Ben. <laughs> Come on. Not right now. <laughs> I don't think so. One-on-one. -on -one. Love that stat the Stars PR staff had. Every defenseman in the league named Weber is wearing yes. number six. Yeah. <laughs> Shea Weber, Yannick Weber, the Weber in Buffalo. Yeah. Mike Weber. So that ends up uh, just being a, a discussion in the corner and nothing out of it. You're right, though. The, the star speed, and it's not just the Canucks. I mean, many teams this year, when Dallas has been... I mean, really on the scamper, have struggled to match that foot speed. They're a quick club. They're starting to get a little swagger in their game at just the right time of the season. Trevor Daly shooting it into Eddie Lack's mitt. Daly was kidding this morning. I'm still here. <laughs> Long serving. Yeah. He's the dean. Let's see with Stefan Robita moving on and... Daly and this crew on the back end have, have done fine work under James Patrick and Lindy Ruff. Just imagine, I mean, there's not a right shot in the mix. Everybody's a left shot. There's Daly firing it from the line. You don't, you don't see that much anymore in the NHL. And knowing Lindy Ruff and some conversations with him, yeah. and I'm sure Jim Milk, they'd like that to change going forward. Get a better mix. Sure it will. Whitney firing just wide of the net off lack. The Chushkin battling for a puck. Kessler slid and then got it out. Daly to Whitney. Val with a quick feed to Daly. Carving forward to Horkoff at the line. Garrison reaches out to put it behind for Weber who reverses it. Stars are changing so Hansen has a little ice at center. And a pass that goes off Antoine Roussel in deep. Almost seven minutes gone in the second period. The Stars have a 4-0 lead over the Vancouver Canucks. Tyler Sagan has figured in all four goals for Dallas. He scored two. Alex Edler. Across the ice for Henrik. Into his own bench. 13.03 remaining in the second period. All Dallas tonight at American Airlines Center. They're getting a lot of great mileage out of the slight package that is Alex Goligoski. It's like a smart car or something. <laughs> uh, goals in back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back games for the first time since 2011. Scored three goals in the previous 68 games prior to this little run he's on right now. Started against the Buffalo Sabres. Real nice play by Sean Horkoff here in that victory over the Sabras. Then a power play goal. In Columbus, followed up by this one here with the Stars making the most of a five-minute major. In confidence, he's worked really hard to get his plus-minus back to even. It was ugly back in October. His confidence wasn't there. I give a ton of credit to James Patrick, who, you know, you come in from a different locale, and, and um, you think of a guy who's been beaten up as much as Goligoski has after the trade, and play and what James Neal was doing in Pittsburgh and he's just like I don't know why he's been beaten up as much as he has pretty good in my eyes yep pushing in on 30 points Goligoski is 
Henrik Sedin having trouble there with three stars. Cody Eakin emerges with the puck. Brendan Dillon will chase it down. Cole got onside. Dillon puts it deep to Edler. Booth steers it forward. Henrik curling it around. Bieksa, why not? Henrik overskates the puck. Out comes Cole. Eakin, Jason to the Vancouver line. Cole, Jason had a coke checked away. Dillon following up. Got it back of the net for Chason. Looking for options out front. Chason goes to the line for Gonchar. Firing. That's blocked. It hit Hansen. Chason moving it over to Connaughton, who missed the puck. Like the wide receiver that starts yeah. running before he catches the ball. Exactly right. Eight minutes gone in the second period. Shuts 14-9 Dallas. But they've had some unbelievable scoring opportunities, and they've cashed in. Fiddler tried to get there. Matthias pumped it out. Cannot finds it this time, and he'll drive it around the boards. Yeah, cashed in is the big part of it because they, they've played well in games lately where they have not executed offensively. And because of that, have, have dropped some points. Different equation here tonight. Castillo played it on the wing. Somehow they stay on side. Weber fired it. Pad stop Lettman. Schrader driving it. That's blocked. And Garbutt taking off after the block, looking forward to center ice. Garrison nudged it forward. Slipped through to Gonchar, who finds Roussel. Moving into the zone, Roussel to Garbutt. Garbutt firing, and Lack got over to make the stop. And then Garbutt is rammed by Sestito in the corner well afterwards. Roussel comes over to have words with him. The two penalty minute leaders in the National Hockey League were within punching distance of one another, but... They go to their respective benches. It's a 4-0 game. Things are not going well tonight for the Canucks. They're going extremely well for the Stars. You're going to get some of this stuff after the fact. Boy, well, they've been able to get in behind Vancouver, though, repeatedly in the game. The late hit down in the oh, corner. Been a, been a bit of that here tonight. He and I have something in common. We were both uh, part of the worst people in the sports world on Oberman. <laughs> he was the worstest though. Yeah. I was just worser. Yeah, you were worser. <laughs> he, had a, he had his sister stick up for him on Twitter. <laughs> had nobody come to my defense. Hey, congratulations, by the way. That's big stuff. Rich Beverly, nice pass to Sagan. In front to Ben. He shoots. Save Lack. What a stop. Oh. Boy, the Canuck defense, though, is going to have to get outfitted with rear-view mirrors. Ben wants to try it again. He takes a high stick from Burroughs, and that is flagged by Dan O'Halloran. Boy, what a right pad stop by Eddie Lack on an easy, breezy drive-by chance for Ben. This line again. Change the point of attack. Draw two men to him. Sagan dishes it off. And as Ben comes cruising in front, he can't elevate it. He's got it at the end of his stick, trying to fend off Hamus. Did that. Boy, they're going to set a record for back-checking defensemen in the game here tonight. I guess Luongo sent out a tweet with a hashtag, pray for Eddie. <laughs> Sense of humor in yeah. South Florida. Yeah. Fifth power play of the game for Dallas. They've already scored twice on the power play, but will be immediately taken off of it. That didn't take long. A two-second power play. All he can could do is roll his eyes, trying to push forward. I mean, that. there's no way that's a penalty. He has no idea where that puck is, but... That will go down as 0 for 1 for the Stars power play in two seconds, which I hope at some point in the coming hundred years the NHL changes. Maybe power plays per, per two minute. minute. Yeah, per minute. Yeah. And four on four then. It'll open ice. Jordy Ben on the meander. Got it past Edler. Fiddler burrowing in there. He'll occupy two men. Jordy Ben chunked it over to Fiddler. 
Played ahead, and Henrik Sedin will dial it back for Kevin Bieksa. Vancouver came into the game tonight, 11th place in the West, but just two points back of Dallas. Jordy fell inside the line. It's intercepted, and there goes Ben on a breakaway. He's got Cole with him, a two-on-0. -oh. Ben to Cole to Ben to Cole, and he didn't shoot it. It went off his stick. There's no question that Eric Cole anticipated that Ben was going to shoot it. He was kind of fading away a little bit rather than, than going to the net, and they just miscued on that. Jordy to Cole. Shot blocked. Ben will pick it up. And oh, it's a reversal on Edward. Wow. Paid for not having as much intensity heading into the corner there. <laughs> Daly brought it over. Nachushkin following it up. Val had it poke checked away. Matthias with a pass that explodes off Sagan and deep for Kessler in the Dallas zone. Centering feed. Sagan catches Matthias. What a great play. All the way across the ice, but nobody's there. And if Sagan's not active and is just kind of watching things or a tad bit lazy, waiting for things to go the other direction, quality chance from five feet for Matthias. Ten seconds, Ten seconds left seconds on the four-on-four. Four. Chris Tanev winding it into Hamuse. Shot at Letton and makes the stop. Eight and a half to play in the second period. Jamie Benn and Tyler Sagan have the stars up 4-0. There could be more offense involved in the game. Benn's had back-to-back -back quality opportunities. The latest hit the pocket four on four in their own zone. A two on O from center in. Ben and Cole. The second, the return pass by Ben on the little drive by was jammy. Speaking of jammy, there's the reversal by Ben on Edler in the corner. The dainty barbarian having a night along with everybody else in victory green. Yeah, he's upset that that didn't click. In two seconds, Vancouver will enjoy a two-second power play. Enjoy might not be the right word. Beverly, Dallas's best face-up man. Henrik won it on top. Garrison bombed it wide. Burroughs is on. Eakins on. He can bring it from back there. Wow, that was humming. Mm -hmm. So the Canucks are 0 for 2 in the game. And Dallas is two for five. And everybody wants to surround the puck. It's been a hand pass. So well, what they do is after a while, it's it's please. The mercy whistle from yes. the referee, and then they have a face-off, the closest point to where everybody was staring the puck. And they yeah, what am I supposed to do? You guys wouldn't play the puck. <laughs> what, do, what do you want me to do? I have no, ah, get out of here. I have no choice. It's tough for Dallas because they have to face a face-off deep in their territory, whereas if they just picked it up and taken off, this wouldn't happen. Score Dwyer working with Dan O'Halloran tonight. Darren Gibbs about to drop the puck, and Derek Amell, the other linesman. Daly looking innocent, and then bashing into Booth. Hansen in the corner. Fiddler stopped his progress there. Bit of a boards battle here. Fiddler nudged it ahead. Roussel with a clever play gave it to Garbutt. Here comes Goligoski leading the charge. Garbutt digging to go to the net. Garbutt a shot. He scores! Five nothing Dallas. From a face off to the right of Kari Letton and the Stars. Execute beautifully defensively in their own zone. Another bad pinch by the Canucks. Henrik Sedin tried to hustle and get back and and get Garbutt, but they're so quick. Skates away. Succulent little pass from Goligoski. Look at this. Just a perfect saucer pass. Lays to the blade of Garbutt. He deposits that. It's a runaway for the Stars tonight on home ice. Garbage 12 from Goligoski and Roussel. Alex now with a goal and a helper in the game, and Dallas leads it 5 to nothing. Number 33, Alex Goligoski. And number 
So Hamu sends it over, gets it back. On the wing to Archibald. Schrader going in there. Dalpy overpowered by Horkoff, but it's Archibald carrying on. Gonchart dueling with him over there. Penalty coming up. Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe hooking against Gonchar. Well, Gonchar was active with his stick. There's no question about that. You could pick a foul in there if you wanted. Dallas probably 55, two minutes, okay. In a 5 nothing game, this is a, a gifty call going the other direction. He's battling one-on-one -on -one along the boards with Archibald. Stays with him. Little lumbar massage. Just really a one-on-one -on -one battle. I mean, that's pretty ticky-tacky. So it's the third power play of the game statistically for Vancouver. They're 0 for 2. Power play is hit in just three of their last 14 games. BX a miss the net, and then it's nudged wide on the follow-up with Lettinen in trouble with Matthias in front. Fiddler clear. Well, good hustle by Jordy, Ben, and Reed. Read that redirect off the end boards and beat his man to that far post. Alex Edler from center driving it around the boards. Roussel upended and Lettman taking no chances. The Canuck power play not too long ago was numero uno in the National Hockey League. The year they went to the final, bowed out to the Boston Bruins. They were the best in the league on both sides, right? They had the best yeah. penalty kill and the best power play, the best goals against. They ran into those Brews and Bees. Since then, though, it has it's dropped by 10%, which is difficult to do. The third worst in the NHL heading into play here tonight. Garrison to Weber, a shot. Lettman found it. I mean, injuries have just eroded anything that, that they could get going. You forget back in December, John Tortorella's team was was on a roll. But you 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 consistently pull individuals out of your lineup. There's the 10,000 foot stare from the guys on their bench in a five nothing game. You can see how their team game. There's no continuity. They can't read off one another. The stars have exposed that. Ugly times in Vancouver. Since the calendar has turned from January 1st, 5, 15, and 3. So, yeah, they were they were dialed in. And they're still only two points out of a playoff yeah. spot, but they look like they're 100 miles away. I, exactly. Garrison fires it in. Garbett turned it out and over and off the Vancouver bench. Stars with an ability to, you know, they take no mercy, really. This is one of the clubs they're jockeying with in the Western Conference. You have Minnesota up above, and then you have you have Dallas, Phoenix, Winnipeg, and these Vancouver Canucks. Nashville's also in, in behind. The Stars in eighth, the point up on Phoenix and Winnipeg, and two up on these Canucks. The Wilder seven up. And Dallas gets one more crack at Minnesota Saturday night. So to keep seven in play, that's a must win. Dribbles out to the line. The exit of Edler, shooting it, tipped wide. Ryan Kessler ripped it around. He leads them with seven power play goals. Brendan Dillon holding it up. Jordy Ben firing it around. Bieksa gets there. Passing off Kessler. Ben tried to clear and hits Kessler. He'll give it to Edler and get it back. Went through him. Dylan to Ben. Ben and Beverly shorthanded three Canucks back. Ben will buy a little time and then drop it down the board. This has been a big key for the Stars, too. Their penalty killing here over the last month, month and a half. It's top 10 on home ice. Inching toward the top half of the NHL as they go offside here. Top half of the NHL overall in penalty killing and I, I think it's a massive part of the equation as to whether the stars get into the postseason or not you know Lindy Ruff talked about the power play and especially here on home ice was going to be a major factor as to whether they secure one of the top eight seeds in the Western Conference but I've always leaned heavily on whether your penalty killing is because they can win games for you yep. hang on to games it's not much of a factor in this one here tonight, just statistically. Amus drives it around the boards. 
Tipped on to Fiddler. Gonchar steps out. He'll wait for Fiddler to get past him. And the Stars are three for three on the kill. Coming in, they blank the opposition in 11 of their last 15 games on the power play. Chason takes the pass from Goligoski. Circles up high. Shot it. Save Lack with Roussel right on his lap. Booth scurries forward. Three stars back. Chason joining Goligoski and Daly trying to defend as Dalpy's shot is gobbled up by Kari Lettinen. 4.49 left in the second period. All Dallas Stars tonight. Ryan Garbutt, the latest guy with the celebration in a 5-0 route so far over Vancouver. For the two Monday home games in March, you can save with a cap combo. Get a ticket plus a Victory Green Stars cap for one low price. $20 in terrace seating or $60 in the plaza. Get your cap combo at dallasstars.com slash specials. Five rip, Dallas. Schrader wins the faceoff. Garrison out at the line. Chason out to cut off his shooting lane. Archibald lost it. So did Gonchar. And he follows Schrader out toward the line. Garrison missed it. Cole, he could use one. And it's tapped off his stick. And Schrader hands it back. Garrison shot it forward. And off the end boards, Lettinen kicked it over to the corner. Centering feed for Schrader. That's tapped away by Gonchar. Cole clears. It went off the Vancouver bench, I believe. Another one out on that side as this thing grinds in a 5-0 game in favor of the Dallas Stars, who are ascending and have been for a while. They've earned points in 10 of their last 13 games. I think most observers now look at, at the race in the Western Conference and by far see the Stars as the lead dog. Shifley's injured with Winnipeg, although they've done terrific things since the coaching change mm -hmm. and will stay in the hunt. Paul Maurice has done some great work there. Yeah. Noel. Defensively, it's always defense. Change a yeah. coach over. It's always, all of a sudden, you, their defensive game shores up, and they start winning games because of what they do in their own zone. Phoenix is up on Montreal tonight, and Phoenix continues to hang around, as always, as a Dave Tippett coach team will do. Well, great goaltending, a uh, very good coach. Tough to put away. They're always going to defend well. Ray Whitney, a former Phoenix Coyote, they added Martin Erat. Yeah. They brought it, him in. He's tied with their goaltender, Mike Smith, in goal scoring on the season, each with one. That was, that was interesting. He said he, he was looking forward to playing with Phoenix because they were like Nashville, where he was comfortable. Didn't like I mean, that high-flowing, <laughs> high-octane Washington Capitals? Apparently not. Wow. That wasn't to his liking. <laughs> well, oh, Ben intercepts. Beverly tapped it. Sagan thought about shooting it. Ben wants to give it back. He can't do it, but then he just out muscles it. Ben emerges out of the pile. And a penalty to Jamie Ben. You know, the, the zebras are starting to kind of arbite this by the score. Dallas number 14, two minutes for tripping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Have another look at this alleged trip. Ben trying to get it in front. That's winning a puck battle is what that's called. So the Canucks go to the power play again. For the fourth time in the game, the season series, Vancouver is now 1-4-11. Dallas has two tonight. They did not score a power play goal in either of their first two games, both wins. Kessler and Roussel. Henrik's in there. Comes to number 14, Jamie Ben. Two minutes for tripping. Comes back around. Garrison. Roussel out to challenge. Gave it to Henrik. Matthias turning away from Jordy Ben back in the net. Wanted to center it for Kessler. Jordy Ben's there, and so is Brendan Dillon. Off Weber to Fiddler. He'll send him back. Stars. Two and two since the Olympics break. Played better in a lot of regards than that two and two record would indicate. 
showing it tonight. Six one and two going into the break. So yeah, they're they're getting right where they want to be. Brendan Dillon out toward the line. Garrison fighting the puck. He held it in. Schrader rips it across. Yannick Weber slapped it forward. Henrik Sedin lost it in the corner. Daly has a little room back of his net. Pivots away and clears. Eddie Lack moved it away from Ryan Garbin. Gavin Bieksa from center ice. Beverly tying it up in the corner. Goligoski turns and whips it out. Dangerous guy sitting in the box. Going to get out of there 35 seconds from now. Here comes Bieksa. Passing to Edler. Higgins stays on side as the puck's launched out of play. I mean, how does that even happen? You're, you're on the power play. You're under very little pressure and neutral ice. Sure, the puck jumped up on edge, but Edler just launched that into the netting in behind. He's inching his way toward minus 30 on the season. Man, when he first broke into the league, I know I've talked about this before, I thought he was just going to be an absolute stud. The last time he was plus in a game was December 1st. Wow. Think about that. There he is in center, shooting it in. Jeez. Oh, loose in front, they score. A kerfuffle back in the net, and it's a slam dunk for the Canucks, Zach Dalpe. Well, this is just a lackadaisical mental error by, by Kari Letton, and everybody tries to get pucks up on the glass so goaltenders can't cut it off easily. So it comes rattling around. Kari stops it, but it, it just pounds off the paddle of his stick and right in front. In hindsight, it would have been much better to just allow that to rip around. And Kari took the long route back to the front of the net. Easy little tap in. And there goes the shutout. It's Dalby's fourth of the season. Power play goal for Vancouver. It's his first point in 11 games. Kyrie Letton with the Andy Moog kick. Gnaughton gets away with that. Here comes Peverly. Ben let it go to Sagan. Sagan on the hat trick watch. Toward Ben. He's tied up. Beverly to Ben in the corner. And these games become a little tougher to play in. There's Got it out. Matthias pumped it. Letton made the stop. Slides it off to Jamie Ben. And Ben dodging a hit. Was coming late from Sestito. We'll have to keep an eye on him. Weber threw it away at center. Ben realizes Sagan's trap, so he accommodates the change. Under a minute remaining in the second period. Andrews with a long feed ahead to Henrik Sedin. Curling up, left it. Hansen recovers it. Nowhere to go but back in the net for Booth. Markoff jamming Booth. They crowd the front of the net, and it's Whitney making the play to Val Nachushkin. Here he comes against Garrison. Nachushkin swinging wide, taking it back of the net. And then he got all clogged up on his skates in the corner. Garrison moving it forward. Across the Dallas line. And they're looking for Booth in front. Letton and bashed into it. The shot came in from the line. Jordy Ben, it's been a mess here the last minute or so for Whitney. And that'll end the second period. Two seconds. So an unfortunate series of events has Vancouver on the board, but the Stars very much in command here. 5-1. After two periods in Dallas, Sagan has two, Ben has one, Goligoski has one, and Garbutt has one. And a four-point night for Tyler Sagan, and he'll join Daryl Ray in the intermission when we come back. Dallas Stars Hockey on Fox Sports Southwest is brought to you by your Texas Ford dealers. Enjoy all the best savings on America's best-selling brand. Ford is the best in Texas. By AT&T, now get u high-speed internet. AT&T, rethink possible. And by Southwest Airlines, find our fares online only at southwest.com. 
5-1. The Stars have opened up a serious can on the Vancouver Canucks in downtown Big D tonight. And their next home game, they will be celebrating all that is Mike Madonna. Madonna Palooza has already started. The retirement of number nine. What a day that's going to be. And some of his former teammates have made their way into the Metroplex to help celebrate it with him. A goalie change for the Canucks. Jakob Markstrom in to mop this thing up for Eddie Lack, who surrendered five through two periods. So it's one half of the Luongo equation that gets into the game here tonight. Lack takes a seat. Luongo continues to tweet. <laughs> so Markstrom's in and the Stars with a 5-1 lead. Penalty boxes are empty. We start the third period. And these are tough to play, Razor. What do you want to see out of Dallas in the third? Well, just like Tyler was saying in between periods when I asked him, it's habits. You know, it's, it's team habits. Whatever your game is, stick with it. Continue to play it. You've got more than enough to win the hockey game. Don't cheat for anything. Don't back off your intensity in the game. Just finish the job. Alex Goligoski with a safe play out of the zone. Kevin BX is there, and the Canucks are staring at 1-10-1 and one in their last 12 games, right in the face. Eric Cole dragging people with him, going to the net, a shot. Markstrom made the save. Well, even the way they've gone about their business here tonight, I, I know they're missing people. I know it's rough. I know, I know their hearts are, have probably been broken by Luongo going and the reported request to, of Kessler to get traded, but they've just played like a defeated group here tonight from the get-go. Meanwhile, Dallas is on the other end of that win tonight, and it'll be 9-3-2 and two in their last 14. Chason banks it out. Jordy Ben took a shot wide of Markstrom's net. The puck, where is it? It just disappeared. There it is. Finally, it came down. Uh, Jordy Ben's very good at doing that. Little dance, find a lane, and rip it. That one's rainbowed up. Never touched anything. A turnover, the Canucks changing, Eric Cole, you know, walks right past Edler and around, pulls his way around Bieksa and gets another chance in tight. Tough first shot for Markstrom to have to deal with. Cole scoring woes continue, none in the last dozen for him. When you look underneath the, the top line here again tonight, if you look at that line, Cody Eakin has one empty net goal in the last 11 games. Alex Chason has one power play goal, it was a biggie. Won the game against Buffalo, but one power play goal in his last 14, so not getting a ton of production from that trio. Nope. The defense, however, and again, Alex Goligoski scored tonight. So they continue to pick him up. Gonchar took the hit back of the net, but got it ahead. Roussel to center ice and across the Vancouver line. Stars are offside. Canucks clear it. Schrader at center ice to boot through traffic. Dribbles in on Letton and he steers it aside. Tanev back, and an icing call against Dallas. The Canucks were changing their defense, and they get that one. There's big Markstrom, and I mean big. Yeah. They have a large tandem in, in Vancouver now with those two. Uh, highly regarded on the international stage as a, a junior. Played for Sweden, starred for Sweden. I might change that to in the World Junior Tournament. Hasn't really developed in the Florida system the way they anticipated, and they move him along. Bad stop from Letton and a shot that got through at the point. Markstrom is 6'6", 194. They'll go back and play this puck, and along with the Panthers, he struggled. 1-6-3 and three in 12 appearances. Alex Burroughs tried it and went up high. Probably keep the puck the next one he scores. Got a ceremony of some kind. Been a tough year. Dylan out to center ice. BX at his own line. And Whitney with a nice little steal. Burroughs came to hack it off his stick. Kessler tripped up penalty coming up against Horkoff. It's a delayed call. 
They're going to get these power plays even at some point. Yeah. Well, this will do it. Yeah. Hansen in into the slot for Bieksa, nudged it back of the net, pinballs to Jordy Ben, and there's your whistle. So the slow skate off after this. Got reaching in skate to skate the trip that time to load up this Canuck power play that scored on their last opportunity on a rim that fell right. Boy, Henrik Sedin must look around and just go, what has gone? Oh. Huh? <laughs> what am I doing? They have most of the pieces that they they can throw out there on their power play outside of Daniel. Edler ripped it, went off Goligoski and wide. Fifth power play of the game for Vancouver. Their lone goal came on a Kari Lettman miscue. Self-inflicted damage. Edler passing over, Bieksa scorching it, saved Lettman, loose puck, backhanded, saved by Goligoski, and Kari Lettman gets on top of the puck. Alex has had a very big game tonight. Sean Mathias can't believe that, the newcomer. I mean, th this falls beautifully for him. And Goligoski to the rescue. Big hot shot that's deflected by Daly into Kari Lettman, and it was just chaos and panic. A skate save and a beauty. Yeah, yeah I... I'd give him a little touch, too. There's no need for Tim Thomas when you're going to get saves like that. No. Yeah, he's been good in his own zone. He's been productive going the other direction. Beautiful assist. Another goal. Edler wanted to tee it up, passed it in front off. Letnan Kessler poking at it. It comes to Roussel. And he can't get past Edler. Dylan whipped it around the boards. Jordy Ben has uh, enough time to clear. Roussel trying to get too much out of that. I mean, just stick with the simplicity that you need from your penalty killing. The extra passed it over. Edler shot it in. Kessler let it go to Henrik. On top, Edler shooting, blocked by Brendan Dillon. Jordy Ben lurched out with the stick. And then sidesteps BX is hit and threw it down the ice. Henrik ran into Kessler, and here they come. Henrik taking the line, dishing it back to Garrison. A blast. Save Letna, and he hangs on to that one. Wow. Going to move him back an inch or two. <laughs> yeah. That elephant gun for his seven goals on the power play. Garrison, he had a wide lane, but so did the peepers of Kari Lettman. There's that one, no screen set up in front, just a token attempt at tipping it by Higgins. Trader defeated by Peverly. Goligoski in there to battle again. Pushed it in front. Garbutt has some room, and he'll ease it down. Half a minute remaining in the Horkoff minor, almost five minutes gone in the third. Of a game that's had the look of being very much over from early on. 5-1 Dallas. Schrader takes it in. Eakin chased him down along the boards. And he'll work it out. Garbutt tried to catch it on the backhand. Now he chases Weber back into the zone. And Garbutt there to harass Garrison. Came up the slot. Daly. And that hits the bench again. <laughs> yeah, it hit the curved glass at the end of the, the Canuck bench which is out of play, player safety glass. Curved that, what was it now, three years ago? Four years ago? Something three like years that, ago? Yeah. It used to just be a straight line, and and guys would just get rocked by a turnbuckle, essentially. Smart move by the league to do what they did and make it curve so guys glance off of that rather than getting clocked. Wasn't that right when Brendan Shanahan took over or thereabouts? Tanev hands it over. Dolphy's got the lone goal. He pushes it over to Booth for a shot. Starts it back at full strength. And then a collision in front of the net as Connaughton lost an edge and went crashing into Kari Lettman. Who I don't think is 100% coming out of that, is he? No, he does a little log roll. Might have winded him more than anything else. If the garrison <laughs> shot didn't wind him, this goalie bowling certainly did. Connaughton trying to chase it down and just got his skates crossed. Ugh. That's how knees get blown out. Accidental little things like that. 
Jamie Ben back to make sure his big finish netminder is fine. Cannot be checking an edge. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes, yeah, good idea. Sagan and Dolphy to Kari's right. Never assume responsibility for something like that. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, no. It's the equipment, always. Beverly tied up. Oh, Dylan cracked his man Dalpy. They follow up and came over Letman. Tanev throws it away. There goes Sagan and Ben with three Canucks back. Sagan left it for Ben. And on to it, gave it to Jordy. Pitching it over to Sagan, centering it, and that one off Markstrom. Starts fighting to get it back. Beverly will get it back, shooting it into the corner. Just find it. Uh so odd to see teams when they don't have any back pressure in, in the game now. You, you can see the time and space for Jamie Benn to just walk around in the Canuck zone with nobody attacking him. Sestito got it over. Pass through toward Archibald. And Daly blocked the centering feed. Schrader lost the puck. Cole again barreling down the wing against Bieksa. He's got Eakin alone in front. Can't get him the puck. Shea sign. Missed the bouncing puck, and out comes Archibald again. Getting around Goligoski. Backhand shot over and outstretched Kari Lettman's left arm. Four of them in the corner. And that's enough of that. Sestito engaged. Eakin slung it around behind Goligoski. Took it away from referee Dan O'Halloran. Passes out to Shason, guns it back to Daly. Whitney tried to make a clever play there against Edler, but it's out of play. 12.44 left in the third. Stars up 5-1 and comfortable here in Dallas. Good to see a smile back on the face of Alex Goligoski, who has been one of the bright spots for the Stars in this contest tonight. As promised earlier in the game, Miller time brought to you by Miller Lite. All about Alex's two-way game in this one tonight. Been some stout defense out of him. Some production at the other end. Power play goal fed by the wizard Ray Whitney. That succulent saucer pass again. Man, you can't thread a needle better and have it land more perfect than it did on the garbage goal. The goal sending that he provided here in the third period of John Mathias. He's done a little bit of everything in this one here tonight. A good sign for the Stars, who rotated five defensemen in that game the other night in, in Columbus. They've had all six for the most part here tonight. Lindy Ruff with a four-goal lead and under 13 minutes to go can spread the minutes a little bit in this one. But probably using this as a challenge for his team, too. Mental challenge to, to stay with it, stay with the details of your game. Connaughton going back with Weber, passed it off to Burroughs, laid it over to Kessler, intercepted, and Nachushkin will try it against Garrison. He's got Horkoff driving to the net. Nachushkin is shot, and Markstrom makes the catch. Hot shot from the wing from young Val. He's 19 now, so grow up, Val Nachushkin. No longer just a kid. The power game that, that he can provide, and it's been an impressive rookie campaign. It, it hasn't led to much lately, though. It's kind of, you know, you can see pockets and spurts of it, but but not the finish, not the ender. Because of that, his minutes have dropped down. He got moved down to the fourth line over the last couple of games. He said his father was the best skater in Chelyabinsk, a sprint speed skater. Competed for the national team, but never the Olympics. So he got a little bit of help from his dad. Garbutt now passes to Fiddler for a shot just wide. Garbutt back to the net. The jeans are there. There's Henrik Sedin. Matthias centered it. Hansen missed it. Henrik's looking for it. They go out to Tanev at the line. They pull it to the middle. Shoot it. Off through Sal and out of the zone. And that one stung. Garbutt's alone in foreign territory. And Hansen starts and stops and starts again. Goligoski fed it off Lettman. Shucked around the boards and out of the zone. Well, the Canucks are trying to show a little bit of pride here in the third period. They've held the majority of the play. 
Sagan took it away from Henrik Sedin. They go down together. Shot from Goligoski doesn't get to the net. Sestito was all over him. Booth denied by Jamie Ben Sagan. Back to Goligoski. We're on the hat trick watch for Tyler. His third of the season. Ben knifed it down at the line. Left it for Beverly. Goligoski to Ben. Back to Alex. Over to Daly, a shot, save Markstrom. Boy, change the point of attack, make the Canucks chase a little bit in their zone. Good puck work. And there goes Trevor. Second round pick, he went 43rd way back in 2002. Ellis is elder statesman. Eakin fishing for a puck at center ice. Garrison to Weber. For Burroughs at the Dallas line, they're offside. Frustration, doubt, all those things. Uh, their coach, John Tortorella, this morning said to everybody, we need to look at the standings. I want my players to look at the standings, knowing they're still in it. Two points back, but they have been crushed here tonight by the Stars. Really a, a punch right in the mouth offensively early, up 3-0, then 5-0. All that they have offensively is the gift power play goal. Their ninth goal scored in their last nine games. Stars just rolling four lines and 6D here in the third period, trying to move the clock as much as possible. Archibald fires it in. Kari Lettman sends us to break midway through the third with Dallas up 5-1 on Vancouver. Some of the greats from the past of the Dallas Stars history here in Big D in town for Mike Madonna's ceremony. Bob Ganey, Norm Green, who's around a lot. Mm -hmm. D. Carboneau, Neil Broughton, Sean Chambers, and the Moog. <laughs> <laughs> the Moger. Yeah. So number nine will be retired prior to the wild game. So they just they just add it onto the surprise. <laughs> Mike's been making the media rounds. Yep. He's been on literally any <laughs> station with a microphone. I, there's been a Mike Madonna appearance. Yeah. He's been great, great about it. Yeah. Enjoying the week. He's very excited. We went through rehearsals last night. This is going to be some ceremony. Connaughton having trouble again. Maybe it was the edge. Yeah. Nachushkin fighting through Higgins' check. Eakin to center ice. Cole had to return the puck his way. Connaughton might come out with an outrigger the next time. <laughs> Keep his balance. Yeah. Sudsy might outfit him. Tanev. Matthias shot it. Save Letman. Hansen centered it. Nachushkin pushed it to the line but not out. Matthias all wrapped up by Jordy Ben. Eakin to Whitney. And with under nine minutes remaining in a 5-1 game, it's been sort of like this. Well, the score and the result is great, but blowouts are, are not very good either way yeah. in third periods in the modern NHL. Schrader put it around behind Dalpy to the line. The extra from Edler shooting. Letman crunch. Puck is loose. Kari spun around and that is finally tipped out of play. Yeah, get me out of here. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's been semi-crazy at times in and around the net. It, you know, it hasn't been clean. He's been fouled up by his own defenders more than anything else. That time, Horkoff, as he came out to challenge a point shot. He's more the technician, the guy that will be making his Dallas debut here probably in the week. Is just a pure puck stopper. <laughs> yes. Not much technical about that man, Tim Thomas. But man, is he competitive. Oh man, the, the subtlety of a Sherman tank. The most accomplished goalie the Stars have had since Eddie Belfort. He said today that he talked to the Panthers about moving to a playoff team even prior to the Luongo deal. 
People were having all kinds of fun with the idea that Luongo and Thomas, who were mortal enemies yeah. back in 2011 when the Canucks and Bruins met in the Stanley Cup final, would be teammates and somehow sharing a crease in South Florida. Never materialized. No. Last two full seasons Thomas played, he put up 35 wins in each for the Boston Bruins. Took a year off. Now he's back. Pretty good stats. 16 wins this season. Roussel going in. Fiddler, Garvin. These three know only one way to play. And out to center it goes. Don Char to Connaughton. He's regained his balance and he shoots it out. Drifts past Tandem at center ice. You might expect the Canucks pushing forward with the shots here in the third period. It's 10-4 in favor of Vancouver. Tandem wrestling it over. The Stars have not allowed more than 30 shots in their last 13 games. There's Hamus with another rebound. Letting it got two. Followed up. Hansen missed it. Sagan and Ben with Beverly. Sagan got it over to Ben. Forced to the boards. Found Sagan. A shot. He scores. His third hat trick of the season. It's his first since lighting up the Philadelphia Flyers in early December. Fourth of his career, very subdued celebration in a 6-1 game. And they were a tad bit sloppy in their own zone, survived it, went on the attack the other direction, survived this right there. Fan on it, using that blistering speed and then a shot that shouldn't go in but found a gap on the short side of Markstrom and the hats came a down as Sagan gives him another memorable night here at American Airlines Center what a talent <laughs> even a cowboy oh, hat <laughs> <laughs> I think Tyler Sagan's going to end up getting the one the Stars hand out in the room after the game. For their player of the game. Yeah, that little nugget. Yeah. Most in a season. Madonna with three back in 99. Pretty big year around here. Garen with three in 03, the first year of Dave Tippett's tenure. And now Sagan in his first campaign with the Dallas Stars. And he just turned 22. <laughs> think, think about that. He just turned 22 years old, and they got him. Man. He was telling in between periods when he was talking about how Lindy Ruff sort of called he and Jamie Benn out, wanting them to, to lead this, this club and execute better. Certainly, <laughs> certainly he did that here tonight. an awesome talent and hot yes and very hot even hotter than Trevor Daly Weber shooting it Letman found it slashed on the arm on the tail end of that one as he hangs on to it man I, I mean I remember the the days of Madonna and Hall and and when Mike would get on a roll against some poor teams like the rebuilding Chicago Blackhawks and he'd have these big nights or the Anaheim Mighty Ducks back then. And we've witnessed a few of these from Ben and Sagan. They drilled the Calgary Flames a couple of times. Mentioned the Philadelphia one. This year tonight against a reeling and spiraling Vancouver Canuck Club. These kids are rock star. Schrader in. Kicked it out. Edler leaves it for Bieksa. People in front shot at Letton and had no chance to see it or play it. It never got to him. He's back up on his skates again. There's Goligoski's stick, but he blocked it anyway. Letton 
Got what was left, and now it's back in the net. Nachushkin trying to tip it out of the zone. With a little help from Orkoff, they do get it out. Stars get their change. Letton grabs Alex Goligoski's stick and sets it on top of his net. At this point, I think both clubs would be fine with just meeting at center ice and saying, <laughs> Uncle. Yep, this was fun. The Canucks are actually staying the night. Good. Booth back of the net. Roussel flipped it off the glass. Kessler kept it in at the line. Gonchar challenging Burroughs. Fiddler moved it up to Roussel. And there goes Fiddler down the boards against Hamus. Got through him. Centered it. Roussel's shot didn't get to Markstrom. Kenev chops it up. And the Canucks Burroughs from center ice fires it into the corner. Cannot dealing with Booth and Kessler. Roussel out of the zone with the puck. Gonchar to Garbutt. They'll change. 5-10 remaining in the third period. Saturday night as this play is offside. 5.02 to play. We'll talk more about that when we come back. Tyler Sagan's third hat-trick is a Dallas star. Love it. 6-1 Dallas. Well, it's Sagan's night here against the Vancouver Canucks. All kinds of warm fuzzies from his history against them. Our Tawaka shot at night is actually plural. Shots. His hat trick. The 2 0 goal on the power play back in the first rate by the earlobe of Eddie Lack. Made it 3 0 on a seeing eye knuckler pass, a screen. And then here in the third against Markstrom, the mop up backup, the all important 6 1 goal. So he's on pace for the game winning goal along with the hat trick and a five point night. The shiniest of shiny pennies in this contest has been Tyler Sagan. There have been six five-point games this season in the NHL. He's got two of them. As we continue to rain the superlatives down. Dylan with an unintentional block shot. And Hansen going back. Started to say before the break, the Mike Madonna ceremony is Saturday night. Please be in your seats prior to six. And by the way, the Stars play the Wild. Wild is in seventh, and that's the game if the Stars want to stay in contention with Minnesota, they, it's one of those games. I think the Minnesota Wild really helped themselves. One of the, one of the yeah. teams that, that did the best at the trade deadline, adding Matt Molson, who's been able to punch a few through on the Dallas Stars in his career with multiple teams. And shoring up their net mining with, with some injuries and illness at that position with Ilya Brzgalov, who has been terrific in the playoffs in pass. You say what you want about him, but he, he has been able to do that. Kemper's played very well for them in net. Cody McCormick gave him a little bit of size. They're well coached. Yep. Parisi, Suter, they're a pretty good club. Yep. This one's up between the benches. 4.15 left. This just cannot end quick enough for everybody. I mean, it, it, it's nice to have a laugher from time to time on your side. This is just excruciating for Tortorella and the Canucks who, who just, look at Kessler. Oh, man. You know, widely believed to be a former Canuck by next season. It, it just this is a massive thud for them and a wonderful two points for the Dallas Stars and their hunt for a playoff spot. In five years since Dallas has made it to the postseason. Well, there's an awful lot of hope and stuff to look forward to here. Haven't seen an awful lot of Daly and Goligoski as this third period's moved along. And that's good. Try to melt the entire lineup. Second's back out here. Looking for his fourth. Maybe a six-point for Tyler. I mean, it's going to be tough for the Canucks to even wallow in the good stuff of this one. They, they didn't deserve a goal no. in the game. Nope. Dalpy has the goal and shot it over to Booth. And only because of a Kari Lettman miscue did that puck find its way into the net. I mean, it was... Missing people. Yeah. Zach Cassian got himself booted out of the game by 
running Dillon from behind, so there are lines that were a semi mismatch were thrown into further chaos. They got chasing back to their own net early. Bad decisions up ice. And since then, it's been a lot of lyrical skating. And the Stars, with their gloves up and their backs to the ropes, just waiting for this one to conclude. Amuse rips it around the boards. Oligoski punched it out. And icing against Dallas. Stars are going to bump forward in their drilling of the Pacific Division, too. Their old division, who they have just annihilated this this season. I mean, it's just been a, a pounding. Now, it's a weak, kind of a weak division underneath of Anaheim. Anaheim might have as many wins as everybody else in the Pacific, it seems <laughs> like. Yeah. The LA Kings, San Jose, three good teams up top, and then everybody else. Pretty good stop there from Kari off the Hansen bid. Garrison stepped up. Archibald over to Hansen. Stick checked away. Dylan will clean this up. Skate away from Matthias. Hit Fiddler at the line. These blowouts are weird, though. I mean, it should be a celebration in the building. I mean, you've seen a remarkable performance by Tyler Sagan. The team's up big against the club. They're two points away heading in as far as a playoff spot. And yet... You know, it's dead. It's This game's been over for yep. eons, it feels yep. like. Yep. So he's got three in the first 12 minutes of the game. It'll be buzzing on Saturday night. Oh, boy. <laughs> the place will be packed, the lengthy ceremony, and then what should be a, a terrific hockey game between the Stars and the Wild. Yeah. Big night. If you can't join us, make sure you tune it in. We'll carry it live on Fox Sports Southwest. The ceremony and all. Cole tried to stifle Edler's attempt. Kevin Connaughton lost the puck. Higgins shot denied by Kari Lettman. Ceremony will be live on the ticket as well on yeah. the radio side. Enjoy the video portions of it. The music is good, I'll tell you that. Very good. I'll tell you what, all the guys, people in the office, this has been a total franchise operation, and you're going to see the fruits of their labor on Saturday night. And Razor and I get really good seats. <laughs> Center ice booth went down, Dolphy got it over, and Whitney stole it away from Sestito, who's hanging around with 40 seconds left. Well, good on the Dallas Stars who came out with a purpose at the beginning of this game. Dummied the Canucks in the opening frame, chased their starting goaltender. Boy, if you're Vancouver, lick your wounds and where do you go from here? I don't know. There's Val. Tried to beat Garrison at the line. They were separated by only two points, but these teams are miles apart, and Dallas keeps moving toward a playoff spot with a 6-1 win. Heck of a trade, Jim Nell. Big, big night for Tyler Sagan and company. They add two more points. They move to within five of the Wild. They put some distance between themselves and these Vancouver Canucks. Phoenix and Winnipeg in between. How many times they've outplayed the opposition and not won. And here tonight, up big. They get outshot 33-22 and they win it 6-1. It's going to look different on the score sheet than it actually was to witness. Chalk it up, enjoy it, and move forward. Dallas Stars win tonight and win big. Tyler Sagan with a five-point night. Jamie Benn has three. Sagan with the hat trick, his third of the season. And the Stars send the Vancouver Canucks home. Wondering what in the world are we going to do from here? The Stars, meanwhile, have Minnesota on Saturday and the Mike Madonna ceremony, too, for Daryl Ray and the rest of the gang. I'm Ralph Strange's Post Game Shows Now.